Hi, my name is Lynn Okimura, and I'm a teaching artist in animation and the media arts with the Music Center. I'm an Asian American woman. I have long black hair, black eyes, and I'm wearing a blue denim shirt with white buttons and a collar. And this is my cat, Cosmo. He has short black and white fur, green eyes, and a pink nose. He'll be participating however he can today. We are going to create paper cutout characters by cutting simple shapes out of paper and moving them around in a fun and quick way that will exercise our imaginations. Sometimes I have an idea for a character before I start trying to make it, and sometimes I don't, but that's okay because it's really fun to find out what I'll end up imagining. And this activity really helps me come up with ideas that I didn't expect I'd have. And maybe it will for you too. You will need at least two sheets of different colored papers. Any colors are fine and you can use more colors if you have them. To cut out shapes, you can use a scissors or you can tear shapes without a scissors. For this first round, choose one of your colored papers to use as a background. We'll cut or tear squares, rectangles, and triangles out of one of our other colored pieces of paper. You can participate along with me or you can try this at your own pace afterwards. I'll make some rectangles by making straight cuts along this orange paper. We can make different sizes of rectangles and squares by cutting into these pieces too. Let's move a couple of our shapes around and discover what they can make us think of. You can place your shapes in your own way. I move this bigger square on top of this narrow rectangle to form a new shape. What can you imagine forming out of this? I'm imagining a friendly robot or even a paint can pouring paint on the ground. I'm sure you can come up with many different things too. There's no wrong answer. Now I'll cut some triangles by making a diagonal cut through one of my squares or rectangles. And I'll make more different size pieces too. I'm not using glue to stick my pieces yet because I don't have an idea. I like moving the pieces around a lot and feeling free to make changes. The way these shapes are positioned is starting to make me think of an idea. And now I want to try a few small triangles to finish my thought. What can you imagine from this? Share your thoughts with someone if you're participating in a group. The most fun part about this is finding out how we can imagine things very differently. I was thinking of a little owl. Maybe it just reached the age where it can learn how to fly. Now I'll try to move the pieces around again really quickly without a plan. What could this be? Do you have any ideas? This gave me an idea of a creature with superpowers to spread kindness anywhere it goes. Let's see how Cosmo's doing. Looks like he tried and is taking a break. Like I said, you can choose to try this at your own pace whenever you like. Now I have an idea I want to try. Do you? I don't know exactly how to arrange it yet, but I feel like I had good practice from what we just did. This time, I also made some yellow squares, rectangles, and triangles to combine with my orange pieces. You might be able to guess what I'm making as I'm arranging the pieces together. Or you might think of something completely different as I go. What do you think, Cosmo? 
That's right, I haven't forgotten those yellow pieces yet. These will definitely add to my character. Did you guess I'm making a crab character yet? I like its big smile and how the pieces overlap and make bends in its legs and claws. I'll keep it just the way it is. Now I have a really clear idea for one more character using these shapes plus circles. I'll start placing the shapes in place and you can guess who this will be. Hey Cosmo, it's you. Do you recognize yourself? Thanks, that's a good idea. I'll add joints to Cosmo's legs and tail pieces so I can pose him like he's moving more. And I have a little scrap of pink paper to make his nose too. I'm finally ready to glue this character together. If you want to glue your character together, you can too. It's your choice. I'm an animator, so I'm always imagining how these characters would move and what they would do. What are you up to, little Cosmo? Thank you for creating and imagining with us today. We hope you try this activity on your own time again soon. Bye everyone!